Hey, it's Rick here, and if you're looking for a more durable case for your iPhone 5, I've got one by Poetic you might want to check out. It's called the Journeyman, and here's the packaging that it comes in. Going to run you just under $30. Now, this case, uh, it's going to add some bulk, but that's because it adds a great level of protection to your phone. The nice thing about it, it really doesn't add a whole heck of a lot of weight. So while it does add bulk, it's not going to add a ton of weight. It's comprised of a couple of pieces, so you can see this front area comes off. And don't let this uh, intimidate you. It doesn't rise up, so it's not going to really touch your phone here uh, or scratch it. Your phone is definitely secure inside of this case, and it's not going to get damaged in here. What that area is here is for this clip. This is a metal clip, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But you certainly, if you don't want to use that, can remove it. There will be an area of intrusion, mind you, but if you wanted to remove it, you could. Uh, the installation of this is really, really easy, and I suspect as long as you don't have an overly thick back protector on your phone, you could use this case with a back protector. I always like to lay those buttons in first, and then you just simply give it a push. This is a very, very easy case to install as well as to remove. Uh, and I will show you that in just a moment. The front is just going to snap on into place. Now, I don't know why you'd want to use this with a screen protector. Uh, if, if you wanted to, I suppose you could, but it might diminish uh, the effect of this integrated screen protector, and it might even cause it not to be so responsive. So this is what it's going to look like up close, and I have opted to leave that clip on. This is a metal clip, and you can see the poetic logo there, kind of the dagger here, so it looks real, real nice and uh, very durable. Now, I will call out, the more that you kind of move this around on the case, and remember, you can move this to remove it if you wanted to, and there's your Apple logo, but the more that you do that, um, it does have the tendency to scratch up the back of the case here. So just be aware of that. There's your camera cutout, and there is no issue with whiteout or washout of your photos when that LED flash is going off. Down along the bottom, this is what that's going to look like. Uh, so if you've got a dock or something like that, you are going to have to take this case off, or you're going to have to potentially use an extender. Your headphone jack, same sort of thing. If you've got a real oversized headphone uh, plug, it may or may not work in this one. Along this side, you can see what that looks like. Gives a real good feel in the hand, good grip. Up along the top, the button is completely enclosed or uh, covered up for your sleep awake, but it is very, very responsive, and I have no issues with that button whatsoever. This is what it looks like along the side. Uh, they chose not to cover these up for whatever reason. Not necessarily an issue, except for the fact that, as you can see, here it is a bit deep so you do have to kind of reach your finger in there to press those buttons and it's not the most easiest thing to do in the world I would have liked to have seen that improved up along the front you can see that integrated screen shield design and I'll tell you right now uh, it works really well um, you don't really get a rainbow effect with this screen shield there is a little bit of an area between the screen and the screen shield that I don't know if you can hear it here you can kind of hear it tapping, but it doesn't create watermarks. It is very responsive in its button presses uh, and everything that you need to do uh, when you're navigating within your phone. So I have no issue there, and it works really, really well. Some of you may be put off by the design choice here, but that's how it is on this case. So uh, that's what it's going to look like. As I mentioned, the removal of this is going to be very easy. And again, this is going to provide great, great level of protection against drops. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do with this phone uh, in this case. And it's going to be really, really durable. Um, so you got no issues there. To remove this, you're going to pop this off. As I mentioned, uh, simply just kind of give it a push here and it works out really, really nicely that you can remove it just like so. Let me go ahead and show you the blue one real quickly here just so you can get an idea uh, for the color selection. And this is kind of the insert that you get with this one. And that's what the inside of this one looks like. You're just gonna simply lay it into place just like so. And then you're gonna lay that front screen Snap it right into place. And notice I didn't really go in and wipe it down. You probably want to do that beforehand so you don't get marks on your screen. Uh, but pay no attention to that. And that's what this one looks like. So this one is the black and blue. And it's a bit of a, bit of a different style. 
Um, overall, I'm gonna give this case a three and a half out of five. I like it for its level of protection. I would have preferred if this area, and this is probably my biggest complaint, it's just a bit too deep. I can't press the buttons if I do this. I really have to work to get in there and press those buttons. And then the other thing, as you can see, if you're gonna mess around with this back kind of clip here and you do that often, you are gonna get some scratches on the back of the case. But I suspect for most of you, that may not be a big deal because what is this case all about? Well, it's about doing that and not breaking your phone. So it is the Poetic Journey, man. It gets my three and a half out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.